latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Caitlin Canute. Here's a look at your headlines this Sunday, October 11th. We're still asking questions about last night's deadly crash in Johnson County. We know three men were killed and another was critically injured after they were hit by a train in their car. This happened near 166th Street and Mission Road in Stillwell. The person who was operating the train was not hurt. A Johnson County Sheriff's deputy says that crash happened on private property at a crossing that didn't have the typical train warnings, such as crossing bars, signals or lights. Despite rising coronavirus numbers, more schools are returning to in-person learning in our area. That includes Shawnee Mission Schools, where they're moving elementary students to a hybrid learning schedule. Starting tomorrow, third grade through sixth grade, students will be going back to the classroom part-time. They'll be joining pre-K through second graders who are already on a hybrid schedule. The Chiefs had the first loss of the season. They hadn't dropped a division game since 2018. The Raiders hadn't beaten the Chiefs at Arrowhead since 2012. Tough to say who was more at fault, the offense or the defense. Far too many explosive plays allowed by the Chiefs defense today. Derek Carr seemingly picking on Ben Neiman and Charvarius Ward. Rookie wideout Henry Ruggs with the eye opener, a 72 yard bomb through the heart of the KC secondary, showing us it was going to be a long day for the defense. 347 yards in the air for Derek Carr, the first win for the Raiders in Arrowhead in their last nine tries. Now here's Gary with the forecast. Wow, you did a great job with sports, Caitlin. <laughs> It was really good. Uh, hopefully the Chiefs will get back in the winning ways next week. We have a line of thunderstorms and showers trying to head this way. This will be a wind shift that moves through. If it rains, it'll be just 15 minutes or so at about 2 in the morning. And then dropping to 45 to 50 degrees tomorrow morning, warming up to a delightful 75 to 70, 75.